Well, hey everyone, it may well be the, uh, the height of summer, but we've had the longest day now, so the nights are starting to draw in. People are going to start talking about Halloween, Guy Fawkes, Christmas, dreary cold weather. So uh, I thought I'd brighten that thought up and make some beautiful tea light holders to, uh, to go in the sitting room and uh, we can hunker down of an evening. So stay tuned, simple project anyone can make. Okay, so I've got this old piece of um, piece of white wood. It's uh, just under four inches by just under an inch and a half, and it's twenty six inches long. It's just what I had lying around. So I'm going to chop it down into three pieces. That give me um, eight and a half inches with a little bit left over to work uh, to square the ends up. So I'll do that on the table saw and divide it up. So I've marked my three blanks off where I want my glass tea light holders to go. I've got these little, uh, bought them in a pack of 12 from a, from a discount store and um, they just hold those normal little uh, small candles. Um, so I've worked it out so that I get roughly the same gap between the two holders and, and, the, uh, and the edge. So they're sort of evenly spaced across there. And I've done three um, three little test cuts. This one I decided was too high, too loose, because it's got taper. This one is nice and tight. It um, doesn't quite sit on the bottom, and if the timber expands and contracts, I don't want it to uh, basically become too tight or too loose on here. So I've set it somewhere in the middle. Um, there's a little bit of movement in there, but it sits nicely and balanced on the bottom, and it's still got a bit of a lip. So go over to the, uh, the pillar drill, set up the fence, and um, make sure they're all in line and I can get on and drill these nine holes. Okay, I've set all the, uh, the fence up and I've added these two stops so that I can essentially line up the centre hole by eye and then run it over to the, the edges. So I'm um, all set to drill these now. I'm just going to knock these uh, these edges back. If you haven't got a router in a table, you could use the uh, the router on edge. Um, or if you haven't even got that, you could use a hand plane, block plane, um, just to knock these uh, corners off. I'm going to do the end grain first, just so if it uh, if it chips out on the trailing edge, it uh, it'll get picked up when I go on the long grain. Sand off. 
and uh, sand the tops and sides flat and we can get a nice finish on there. Sand it down now and um, ready for a finish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this dark, uh, it's actually a dark oak wax um, pre stained wax finish. I'm only going to put one thin coat on to hopefully get it to that kind of colour um, and then I'm going to wipe it off. But before I um, apply the wax, I'm actually going to uh, use this. It's just water and a little spray bottle. It's the sort of thing you get for. Um, doing your rubber plants and things like that, or you could quite easily use a, an old window cleaner bottle um, once it's been washed out. Um, inside the, the water, or mixed in with the water should I say, is just a tiny bit of um, caustic soda, and all that does is it just helps open the grain up so that the wax penetrates um, a little bit deeper into the, uh, into the timber. So I'm just going to spray this on, watch the wood yellow up. Not looking to absolutely soak it, just enough. To let it. It's really warm in here anyway, so it's this will dry up fairly. Just rubbing it with the grain and letting the wax pick up the details in the wood. Yeah, you find it takes much stronger in colour on the end grain. So I like to treat the long grain and use up the wax that's on the cloth. Then do the end grain. Just do it a little bit for a little bit longer, a little bit harder to try and darken it up to match the long grain rather than soak the end grain and have it too dark. Now it's been on for a couple of minutes. Just gonna buff it up. I really hope you enjoyed watching that. I mean, I'll be honest, I had a lot of fun making these. They're, they're not the most complicated or, um, you know, maybe skill intensive um, project that you could uh, you could come up with, but uh, it, it really is nice and simple, nice and quick, whether you're a beginner with limited tools or, um, you know, a time served cabinet maker and you, you just want that little quick fix for, uh, for making something. It, um, the, the possibilities for the project really, you know, are endless. Um, I know I use the, uh, the table saw to cut the pieces, but if you've only got a hand saw, then you can you can use a hand saw to uh, to cut the pieces. And to be honest, even if you don't have a saw, um, go down to your local timber supplier and just have a look through their scrap bin. They they're normally very uh, receptive. Just throw them a few quid, and um, they'll let you take all the, the scraps off their hands because they only have to, to bin it. So um, it doesn't matter what the type of timber is. I've made some small one in Zebrano, the same size one in Zebrano, and, and obviously the pine. So, it really is whatever you've got. Um, the only crucial thing I think about this project is getting the hole matched up to the size of the tea line. Um, I've used these little glass inserts because you know, I saw them in a discount store, as I said, but uh, I think you could probably get away with making the hole slightly shallower and just using the aluminium trays that the, that the tea lines come in. So uh, hopefully you go away, have a play around, maybe use some, uh, some different mouldings for the edges, uh, different sizes, different timbers, and um, Feel free to post them on my, uh, on my Facebook page so I, I quite like to see what, uh, what people are up to and uh, if somebody likes something I've done and, and tries it for themselves it's always nice to, uh, to see what other people are up to as well. So uh, come visit me on the Facebook page, the link will be in the description box and um, hopefully if you've liked this then you'll subscribe to the channel as well because I'm starting to put out some more regular stuff so I uh, hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.